All right, so if you know how to work with positive and negative numbers, this will be a very easy problem to solve without using a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at our problem. We have 15 minus a negative 20 in parentheses, but we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 5, B is negative 5, C is 35, and D is negative 35. All right, so once again, no calculators, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through step-by-step step how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, pretty simple problem here. We have 15 minus a negative 20 in parentheses. So let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer here is C, 35. Now, I did a video similar to this the other day, and I actually had to remake the video. And uh, it was an interesting video because we kind of uh, talked about accounting, all right, or left out a very important aspect about accounting. And maybe some of you are watching this video that watched that video. And in accounting, uh, we're talking about finance and, and basically like financial statements. When you see a number uh, in parentheses, but that would be like a financial number, i.e. a number with dollars and cents or some other currency. So if you have negative, or if you had like $20, something like this, $20 in parentheses, but we're talking about the units of measure dollars. We're talking about money, but in the financial world, this means negative $20. But here we are not talking about money. We're simply just talking about numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and put aside uh, that accounting uh, symbol or notation when you have parentheses around a number, like a dollar, right? So if I have parentheses $100, well, this means negative $100. But you got to be careful for those of you that uh, might spend a lot of time with financial statements that this particular problem is not a financial statement. We're just talking about numbers, so this little parentheses means something different. All right, but uh, let's go ahead and get into our solution. But if you got the right answer, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus for your knowledge of positive and negative numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So I spent a lot of time on the parentheses because I failed to do so on a similar video. Okay, and a lot of you out there, you know, probably you know do read a lot of financial statements. Matter of fact, all of us, if we have any kind of personal finance are going to probably see a, you know, a bill. Hopefully we don't see too many bills with negative values or, you know, a dollar amount with parentheses because this means we owe that money. That's negative money. But uh, you certainly want to understand it. But here again, we're not talking about accounting. We're just talking about straight math. Okay, so here is our problem. We have 15. Now, we don't have a sign in front of the 15, right? But so you're not going to... Uh, put a positive 15 in front of this 15, but this 15 is positive. So this is a positive 15, and we're going to subtract a negative 20 in parentheses. Okay, so I'm going to tell you why we have this um, uh, negative 20 in parentheses here in just one second. But we do have a multiple choice uh, question here. And for those of you that still have to take math exams, unfortunately, a lot of you do, never leave a math question blank. So if you weren't sure on what the answer was, just guess. Be like, I don't know, five looks pretty good. Unfortunately, that's wrong, but at least you tried. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So here's the problem. We have uh, 15 minus negative 20. Now, we're not typically going to see uh, a problem written this way, okay, when we're dealing with positive and negative numbers, but this is how we kind of first learn how to add and subtract numbers. Typically, you're kind of given problems like 14 plus 3, way back when you're studying basic arithmetic, right? So you're gonna add down in a column manner. But what what, uh, what we need to do here is be able to uh, look at this problem and translate it or write it in a better way or an easier to understand way or a more common way, let me just say, uh, you know, for those of you that might be studying like say algebra. 
Okay, so 15 minus a negative 20, we can write this this way. So we can write a 15, this is again positive, minus, now here we have our negative 20. Now notice our negative 20 is in parentheses because it's not appropriate to write 15 minus a minus 20 this way. You wouldn't write this as 15 minus a minus 20. You're not going to see this. So to really uh, avoid confusion, what uh, you know, most math, um, you know, textbooks or, you know, just math teachers, you're going to emphasize that this is its own separate negative sign associated with this number by parentheses. So we have 15 minus a negative 20 in parentheses. Again, be careful for those of you that uh, are in accounting, all right? So you might be, uh, you know, uh, familiar with bookkeeping, bookkeeping or financial statements. Now you go to take a math class and now you're dealing with these parentheses. You're going to have to be able to turn off that accounting, um, you know, uh, equivalency for negative numbers with the parentheses, right? That was a really bad way of saying that, but hopefully I made that point well enough. All right, so now what we have to do is figure out what 15 minus a negative 20 or 15 minus, yes, 15 minus a negative 20 is. All right, so this is not that difficult. So 15 minus a negative 20 is equal to 15 plus 20. Okay, now of course 15 plus 20 is 35, which is our answer, but why is that? Well, a negative sign, actually I'm just gonna break out this part of the problem right here. Let's just get rid of the 15 here just for a second. So in math, when you see a negative sign, uh, you can also think of this negative sign as the word opposite, okay? So if I have negative 20, this is what? Well, this is the opposite of a positive 20, which of course is negative 20. But here, if I have a negative sign in front of another negative sign, what's the opposite of a negative? Well, it is positive, right? So here, a negative of negative 20 is a positive 20. Now that's one way to think about it, but there's another way you could think about this as well. So this negative sign right here, we really technically have a negative one right there, okay? So we're multiplying negative one times negative 20. And if you know how to multiply positive and negative numbers, you'll know that a negative times a negative is a positive, right? So negative times a negative is a positive. So here, a negative one times a negative 20 is going to be a positive 20 or 20. All right, so you're going to see negatives of negatives all the time in math. So like negative of negative three is a positive three, but it's just good to really understand you know, why it, uh, it is the case that a negative of negative is a positive. All right, so again, let's go back to our problem. So we have 15 minus uh, minus 20, and uh, I wanna stress the point, uh, if you do have a situation with two negatives, so in other words, if you're doing some math work and you come up with 15 minus and minus 20, you're not going to write it this way. That can cause a lot of confusion. So break up uh, that second number in parentheses, all right? Okay, so again, uh, pretty simple here. 15 uh, minus minus 20 is the same thing as 15 plus 20, which is 35. Okay, so hopefully uh, you got something out of this video. And this video was actually uh, a nice little video for me to do because it gave me a chance to talk about these parentheses in terms of accounting, right? So if I have $10 in parentheses, that does mean negative $10. And I think that's important for anyone to kind of understand, even if you don't have a lot of accounting experience or you just don't understand you know, uh, basic bookkeeping. And that's perfectly fine because a lot of you might just be students or still learning math, but that is important when you do see um, money in parentheses, it's typically going to mean a negative value. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I definitely need your uh, help to continue to grow on YouTube and hit that bell as well so you can get my latest videos. Now, if you like my videos, but you really wanna learn math from me, check out a few courses that I'm gonna recommend for kind of the level of math that we're doing here, which is kind of basic mathematics. I'm gonna leave links to these, uh, to these courses in the description of this uh, video. The first is my Math Foundations course. That's a quick three chapter mini course on basic math, all right? Pretty much everything that uh, you know, you're learned in uh, kind of like elementary, primary school up to like say middle school. But if you wanna kind of go beyond that, well then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Here I start with uh, basic math, but then I get into a ton of algebra, geometry, and some other things as well. 
All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.